I don't know. I just I can't help it because every time I talk and I see like the lines moving on the thing, and then I'm like, oh no, it's really recording stuff, and I feel like I'm under pressure to perform, and I'm not a performer, so I don't know. I never know what I'm doing. I think everybody gets performance anxiety of some kind. So it's it's not uncommon, I don't think. I'm just I don't know. I've I've never liked like public stuff. I'm not a public person, so performing is just something that's always felt foreign to me and it always will. I'm all, I mean I'm actually like jealous of people that have a uh, a talent or something that can be like a performance talent like playing music or doing stand up comedy or something like that. Or even just like people that like do people that stream drawing. That's I mean they turn their drawing into performing and I can't do that cuz my stuff is always like I do it in secret in my little cave. And then I unveil it when it's done, and then it's like, nice. The end. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to ask you about that, because, I mean, we've talked about it before, where you said you don't like people watching you draw, like, on Twitch. Um, yeah. And I was going to ask, why do you think that is? I don't, I don't know why. I just, it always feels weird having somebody, it, I guess it feels like, being in school and having somebody look over my shoulder while I'm doing something or I feel like somebody's going to tell me I'm doing it wrong or maybe hmm, maybe part of it is like I I didn't go to school for art and so I don't know the right way quote right way I don't know if there is a right way, but I don't know the right way to do a thing, like to draw a cartoon or to color something, because I was never shown the right way. And is, I was, is it more about technique, maybe? Well, yeah, I, I guess that's part of it. Or like, just like, I never, I mean, I I don't know some of the programs, like the one, the program I use is Clip Studio. Like, I never was taught how to use it. I was never shown how to use Photoshop or any of that stuff. I just kind of learned by doing. But I guess most people probably do. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I get nervous that somebody that does know what they're doing will come in and say, oh, you should be doing this or you should be doing that. I mean, you experience that when you stream just playing video games. If you play Minecraft or something, somebody comes into your stream and says, oh, you should use this block because it it's more efficient to build like this. Right. And and that kind of shit's just frustrating. So I like I didn't want to even deal with that. So I just took myself out of that equation. So I no longer even have to think about it. There are also those kind of people that want to help, like genuinely help. And if you come out and say, I was never taught professionally, um, I, I'm self-taught, they might say, well, you could maybe try this technique or maybe try this in that program you're using. And they are genuinely trying to help you. Um, so, I mean, you can't think that everybody's out to get you i guess <laughs> well yeah <laughs> i know i mean i know it's not like me versus the world but i don't know it's just because yeah. i think that's phenomenal that you're self-taught in almost anything that i've seen you do and not many people can say that i don't think i guess it's well <laughs> i guess that says a lot about how me and school really get along well <laughs> <laughs> I have to be self-taught because I don't have the patience for school. <laughs> Everybody learns differently. I actually really love drawing this character's face. Like, I, I don't care if I would draw that same face 50 times. But, it's like, for some reason, just, like, the 
the duck bill face is always so fun for me. I actually don't even know how that happened. I was just about to ask, how did that come into being? Because for people that don't know that might listen to this, this is Dunsting. Yeah. This is you in cartoon form, basically. Yeah, it's... I mean, he's not wearing his normal un- outfit. Like, it says cartoon uniform. He's wearing a, a mail carrier uniform. Um, but yeah, he, he started off... Because uh, my buddy Chris, he wrote a few short stories that were kind of just poking fun at basically high school because we we went to high school together and it, it was just some it was a bunch of nonsense but it was so over the top goofy cartoon stuff and I just drew characters based on some of the stories he wrote because I couldn't I can't write. So I could draw. So I was like almost illustrating some of the stories he was writing. Okay. And the character did not look like this. It, it basically looked like almost like a like a troll. <laughs> it, it looked so weird. Like it's almost embarrassing. I, I, I'll dig them out and show you, but I am definitely not going to po- post that. <laughs> I may have seen one picture of his original form, but it's been a while. And I can't even... I don't even know how it evolved into having like this duck bill of a mouth. And it almost is kind of problematic because it's it makes it very difficult if I want to try to draw like a front view of his face. Mm, because yeah. like if it if it was just a round face that you just have a mouth like in the center and a nose in the middle, like you, you basically draw a line straight up and down, you have like a nose and a mouth. Whenever it's like a duck bill, it's like I honestly don't know how to do a front view of it. I, I I've looked at at uh, drawings of like Donald Duck and Daffy Duck because if you actually look at actual cartoon ducks, you can see how it's done and they've done it. But I just I have such a hard time trying to translate that into the character that I came up with. Why is that something that you want to work on then? I I. I the main reason I wanted to work on it is because I'd like to see if it can be brought into like a, a 3D medium and made like a model out of it or something. Well, your cousin, Guy, he did do a little like a He 3D. did, but I know he struggled with it because I didn't have any good front views of the character. Right. Like if I had an actual front view, it would be a lot easier for him to do. I actually sketched this three times before I started doing the ink lines. Technically four. I had because I I drew the pose before I even started recording. I didn't I didn't I had this idea when I was in the shower uh, that I wanted to draw something and I couldn't think of what and then I just thought of this picture. And uh, because this is based on a real life incident. Yeah. Well, it's based on what how a real life incident should have ended (laughs) (laughs) yeah i was uh i was delivering mail and these three there were three turkeys that started following me down the street and like i didn't really think anything of it because there's there's a ton of turkeys that were up in this area on my route and but they just kept, they started coming across the street and they're just staring at me. And every time I'd turn around and look at them, they would stop. It was almost like I was playing like, what, like red light, green light or whatever. Right. i turn around and they would stop. So then I started walking and turned away from them and they got real close. I'm like, okay, this is getting a little uncomfortable. <laughs> and the two of them tried to bite at me. And then one actually like, like, so I started swiping at him with the mail a little bit, like get away, get back. Right. And then one like jumped up and tried to like slash at me with its foot. That's so weird. Yeah. (laughs) And they have big claws. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I just kind of like just swiped at him and made like, put my arms up high and made a bunch of noise and chased them away. And then just went back to the vehicle. I'm like, man, I should have just whacked him with something. (laughs) So that's that's what this is. Because, mm. I mean, we get turkeys in our backyard sometimes. And there was one that I like to call Big Kahuna because he was big and he was fat and he was always puffed out how, like, you have this turkey drawn. And he would just walk around the backyard like that. Like, he was the, the head honcho, you know? And mm-hmm. I'm like, 
That's a lot bigger than I thought they were, you know? <laughs> they are big. And, and, and I, I didn't know. I mean, I talked to a couple other people that had run into these, I, I assume, same turkeys at work. And they had the same kind of problem. So I didn't know that turkeys were mean. But apparently these turkeys are mean. <laughs> so that's, I mean, that was news to me. Yeah. I wonder if it's like a territory thing. I don't know. I haven't seen them in a while. So maybe they're gone. Well, because this was before Thanksgiving last year, right? Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's why they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> they have been eaten. <laughs> The coloring process of this, like I, I keep, I feel like I try to do different things every time I draw and I don't know why, like I should just find something that works and stick with it. But for some reason I'm changing something every time I draw. Well, maybe that's because you haven't found something that works yet. But even when I do, like um, maybe I just get bored. I don't know. But that's, I mean, that's a possibility. Like, I'm like, oh, I know how to do it that way. Let me make it harder for myself and try to do something totally different that I'm not used to doing. Maybe it's not so much boredom. It's you like a challenge. <laughs> Maybe. And then I get frustrated when I can't, when I can't do it right. <laughs> but um, like this, this kind of shading, I mean, I've, I've been doing shading like this for a while, but I've never done this on my dunce characters that I've drawn. And it's only in this year that I started doing that. And I actually started drawing his hair a little differently, but I mean, if you haven't seen the character, like, as long as I have, you don't notice that kind of stuff. But Well, his hair also used to be darker too, right? It used to be a little darker, but I think that that didn't stand out enough. Because, like, if I wanted to do... Like, the hair's black, but right. I do it as a gray, because if you just do black hair... It just becomes just a void, you know. And you can't it probably get... blends into too many things. Right, and you can't do shadows on black. True, true. I thought you were making it gray because you've gone gray over the years. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> and that happens. Like <laughs> I got my gray streaks too. I'm actually really proud of these shoes. I always love this shoe design, even though it's very impractical. <laughs> I don't actually know what these big things are on the toes. That just kind of kinda... remind me a little bit of the shell toe. Yeah, what they call it the, the um, what are they Adidas or? I'm not sure the brand, but yeah, I know what you're talking about, and that's yeah. that's kind of where I got the idea from. But just I put like this big shell on it, and then I had like these, I don't know, toes. On the shoes that stick out, almost like, kind of like, like uh, claws. It's almost like they have like, like, like I'm drawing like a, um, like a lizard foot, and the uh -huh. shoe has like toes sticking out, and like this character's had shoes like that since I was able, since I have drawn the full body of the character. Like this, is, it almost looks weird to me because I haven't drawn him as a full body in a long time. Yeah, you've just been doing faces. I've just been doing faces. It's almost it's almost foreign to me to draw a full body of a character because I've I've been working working so much just doing like emotes and stuff. Yeah. Where I draw with real thick lines and real dark, like bold colors, stuff that'll stand out. And trying to draw like a full body felt really weird. Like and you'll actually see in the beginning here, like just it's actually weird how, because I, I was looking at a reference drawing that I did in order to get, so I could have the arms right. It's almost like a cheat because it looks like I got it right on the first try, and I did not. And those legs were way too big when I started. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure everybody does that. I mean, you need reference materials because you can't look at your own self in a pose and try and draw it at the same time. Yeah. That would just be ridiculous. But I didn't want to record myself Googling reference material because that doesn't make <laughs> well. a good video. <laughs> it's actually a golf pose. Right, right. I mean, I'm, I'm not super happy with the pose because it doesn't convey a lot of action. Like, I wish I would have done a little bit more with the legs. 
I like the foot position. It's actually the foot position is decent for like a golf swing, but I kind of wanted like a a more wide stance, like a baseball swing. But when I was trying to draw a baseball swing in my just like real rough sketches, then I couldn't. You couldn't get a good like face. You know, I wanted like the the focus was supposed to. I wanted to be on his face and like just his mean look and he's like wanted to get even with these birds right but and all the baseball references i was looking at like they're all turned you could like turn their back and you can see their arms swinging real wide and their legs stance is really wide but most of the photos are of their backs so i don't know and and, and i just i just wasn't happy with it so i mean golf swing was probably the better choice in my opinion now, you've mentioned to me before, but you said that you're not good with positions, like body positioning. Um, so that I guess that's something you want to work on as well. Like the, the pose? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... But like in general, just for like any character at any time at any point. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it is definitely a weak point of mine. Um, and I think it's mainly because of practice, because I... I guess because most of my time is spent on just doing faces, um, I want to do better poses. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad he fixed that. He, that's me. I do that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I fixed that. Those legs were bothering me just looking at it. I didn't realize that I fixed it. Um, because, I mean, you, you've you brought it up before because you were doing a, a commission for Captain Chaos. And you wanted his character standing on top of a car. Yeah. In like a real triumphant, like after battle pose or something. And, mm -hmm. and you were like, I'm just struggling with this so bad. I was. Um, I guess it was, I probably should start actually taking photos of myself in the pose I want instead of just trying to Google the pose I want. Um, because the, the, trying to just find the exact right one is so difficult. And I guess there's just so many images out there to there, look at. There are, and nothing is exactly how you want it. And I guess maybe more talented artists would just be able to draw the pose exactly how they want it. But I need to, I need to see it. Like my, in my mind, I can see it, but sometimes it's really difficult to translate it onto the page. Um, and and it's not that I need need to trace it, but I need to actually like have like some kind of reference that I'm looking at in order to just get it just right. Now, is this um, an area where you wish you had professional training, or are like have you been happy with the fact that you're self taught? Which, again, I will say it again, is amazing to me because I have no talent to speak of whatsoever. <laughs> That's not true, but yeah, uh, but. <laughs> I mean, to be self taught, to learn, to teach yourself programs like this, I just, I never know where to begin. And you just, you just picked up this program one day when you decided to go digital from, you know, the paper pencil drawings. And you're like, okay, yeah, hey, here, it's done. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate that, but it's, it's, I don't know if I would actually benefit from professional training. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, it's hard to say because I never had it, so I don't know what I'm missing. You know, true, so true. I don't know. I I never thought that I wanted to go back to school, though. You know, so it's, I don't I don't feel that it's something I want to do because I, I I'm not unhappy with my ability to draw. I do wish that I was better at stuff, but I mean. In my experience, think, it's just practice. Right. I was just about to say, I think the the more you do it, the better you get at it. Or you could find ways to in, improve even the smallest details. I mean, there's, there, I mean, aren't there online classes you can take? Yeah, That's I'm sure. not like a full class load, but... There's all kinds of online stuff. They, I mean, they definitely have, uh, well, like to teach different programs. I do want to learn... 2d animation um the program i have does have the ability to do like frame by frame animation okay which i'm sure can be exhausting to draw i don't really know how to do that yet but 
I should just start with something simple like a bouncing ball because I'm sure classes will start you teaching teaching you that anyway. Yeah, but, start with the basics because that's never a bad thing, I don't think. The shading is so cool. Yeah, I just got real quiet because I'm just watching. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because like it looks bad at first because I'm I'm doing it just in black. And it's like, ugh, you're just like putting blobs all over everything. Like, what are you doing? But like, you once it's done, I, I could turn down the opacity. That's what I do. I, I turn it down to about like 30 or 35 percent. So, and I set it as like a brightness layer. So it's not just like black. It actually, it, it's the. Oh, I, I just saw what you were talking about. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like the, yeah. the type of layer it is determines how it affects the color on the screen. And a brightness layer, I, I mean, this is just what I've learned. I don't really know what it's doing, but like a brightness layer seems to be. It, it achieves the effect that I try to get. So that's the only reason I use it. I don't know if it's the right one to use, but it's the one I use because that's. It works for what I, for the purposes I want. Yeah, if it works. I mean, what's wrong with that? But, I mean, I could turn down the opacity first and then just draw in gray so I see the shadow. But for some reason, I like to do it in all black because I like the reveal of it all at once. Okay. I don't know. It's almost like you make it look like shit with all these, like, super harsh noir shadows. Like, look at his face. It just, like, makes it look like he's in, like, some kind of like nobody has shadows that are just straight black on your face but it looks so dark and creepy yeah but then when you turn the opacity down to like 35 percent it makes everything just like a grayer a darker tone of the color that you're putting the shading on same with the white it's a lighter tone of the color you're putting the shading on mm. and like unveiling it all at once always feels really cool to me Instead of just drawing in gray and watching it happen as I do it. I don't know. It's it's a weird psychological thing, I guess. I have no idea. There's just nothing wrong with that. <laughs> now, I, I wanted to ask, uh, and I, I kept forgetting, um, but how exactly did you learn of these techniques, considering you're not professionally taught, you didn't go to school for this, but you just seem to have such an eye for these kind of details that it just seems to come so naturally. But like, I mean, did you see it on something and you're like, oh, I got to figure out how to do that? Or did you hear somebody talking about it? Because I, I know you watch other uh, artists' videos, yeah, um, like Drawfee. And I mean, were you just watching one day and they did a technique and maybe talked about it and you're like, oh, I, I got to try that? Or is it just really just a, a natural instinct it's, in you? It's not an instinct. I learned it from watching other people do it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how I learned how to do anything, really. I just, especially like with this the shading thing, because I, I, I didn't used to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, it was always just a flat color, and, like, I was fine with that. And then when I did watch some other artists doing it, I'm like, oh, crap. Like, that's that's something I should do because that looks really cool. Because I know um, when you used to draw on paper, there were a couple of your finished products that you gave me, and I, I colored in with, like, crayons or something because I just wanted something to do one day. Mm -hmm. And you had told me about shading even in crayons and I tried, tried to get the coloring to blend. Um, and I, I found that fascinating because, like, I was just going to color it a straight color, and you're like, well, try blending the colors, get, like, a darker color like a, a blue and get a little bit of the lighter blue and, and try and like blend it. And I'm like, I mean, that's, I just, I, I don't know. It just doesn't quite register with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how I always did it with colored pencils, but like it's, eh. I, I guess yeah, it was. I think it was colored pencils, not crayons. I guess it, it might was. might have been crayons. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was always a thing that I did. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn and say, yeah, it's because I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I know this because I'm I'm awesome and I'm the best at this. No, I mean I don't know. Like when whenever I decided to shade anything, like even back when I was doing with colored pencil, like I would just in my head think that the light's coming from one side, so the darker colors are on the opposite side. So usually 
almost every picture I do, and maybe every artist does this, but they, they have light coming from the same direction every time. But every time I draw a picture, it, it maybe it's because the way my brain is and I'm right-handed might, might affect it too, but the shadows are always on the bottom right. Oh, okay. And the light is always on the top left. That's just how it works in my brain. I don't know why I do it that way, but that's just what I do. Um, and I've always, even with the with colored pencil stuff, I would just color the same way. Like the darker stuff is always on the bottom. Like even back then, I was experimenting with stuff too. Like I actually had a blender pencil that you could go over the entire thing. It was clear, but it would actually blend in some of the pencil. So you wouldn't see pencil lines. It would look more yeah. like a solid color. Yeah, actually, I think I remember that because I think you were like, here, use this. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. Because I, I don't have the the visual capacity, or I can't visualize it in my head for for whatever reason. Like, I just, I, I'm not quite like that. Like, if somebody shows this to me and they explain how they got there, I'm like, oh, cool. But me, I'm just like, oh, I think in, like, just blocks and, and just solid colors all the time. And, like, I, I just don't have that... that visual know-how in my brain to put it to paper not that i can draw or anything but but I mean, it's, it's not i don't know i it's not like it's i don't even know if it's something i can explain i just just kind of do i don't really have i don't have a method you know and i don't have a i don't have a technique that i could teach it's just kind of what i've done but I don't, I just find it amazing because like you can just watch somebody do something maybe a couple of times, if that, and then you're like, oh, I know how to put it to paper. Like I know how to. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, right. I kind of like that. <laughs> um, but I can't, I don't know, I, I need visual representation to show me how to get the point A to B and then I might be able to mimic something, but yeah, you're like, yeah, I could watch somebody. And then you're like, oh, okay, I know how to do this technique now. And at first, yeah, you might not be great at it, but then you get better the more you do it. But it's just, I don't, how your brain processes things uh, to me is still very fascinating after all these years we've been together. So. Well, sometimes I'm even just impressed that my brain processes things. <laughs> But that's that's nice of you to say. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I know I nag you sometimes, like, oh, can you draw me this? Can you draw me this? And you're like, nah, nah, maybe. <laughs> and, like, I don't want to hound you, but, like, I just like to see your work. And, and that's why I'm like, can you draw my D&D &D character for me? And you're like, no. <laughs> I never said no. No, I know, but you're like, um, I mean. <laughs> I had a conversation with somebody the other day, and we were talking about being creative type people. Mm -hmm. and, and she said that she has this annoying need for new validation. Okay. And I'm like, that's an interesting way to word it. And I never thought of it that way, but I feel exactly the same way. So it's, it's not fair that you appreciating my work and wanting to see it isn't enough. Yeah. But there's a thing, I guess, just psychologically or something in my brain where it's like, well, you're with me all the time. You're my wife. We we love each other. Well, of course you're going to like everything that I do. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I need somebody new to like my thing because I know you like it. Okay. Yeah. No, I can understand that. Like that's not, yeah. Yeah. but it's not fair. It's not fair for me to feel that way because you know, you could not like something I do. You're you're not forced to like something. Right. Like, I don't remember that in our wedding vows, <laughs> you know, in sickness and in health and good art and bad. <laughs> but, I mean, when she said that, I'm like, huh, like, I think I'm, I'm the same way. And I, and I don't think it's fair. So, I mean, 
I guess I just I need to make a more conscious effort to like appreciate that you do like my stuff and you would like to see more. Maybe I should show you more or try try to draw something for you. And I know uh, I, I like have, that. but it's just I don't know. I, I would I think it really also would be a way to work on new techniques or drawing styles because when i asked you the other day about if you thought more about drawing our group's D D characters and you're like that's not really my style and i'm like well, why can't it be you know like i like the cartoony style i don't see what's wrong with that and i would at least like to see it on uh, quote unquote paper mm -hmm. um but like it could just be a way for you to like try and maybe add just something little that's new to your cartoon style to a D&D &D character that might in your brain help you think yeah this is kind of what I was thinking or this is what I was hoping it would end up being you know what I mean I do but I mean my, I guess my point of view was the style I wanted to see the D and D characters in was different than what I'm capable of doing. Right, and you had said that. But I, my thing was just like, what's the harm in trying? I guess. Well, I, I mean, know. there's no harm in trying, right? Because I can't, I cannot draw. I mean, I can't even do stick people right. Uh, that's a little pathetic when you say it out loud. No, you say that, but <laughs> stick figures are hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm fascinated by, and a little jealous, I will admit, of people who are artistic, not just in like drawing or 3D modeling, but musically as well, or like people who can really tell stories. Um, and I think that's why I'm kind of fascinated, like really fascinated with D and D right now, because the way that some people, a couple of the pe the shows that I watch, like the way that the DMs put together their stories and 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 help and let the players um add to the story, I'm just fascinated by because I can't do that, and and I wish I could, and yes, I'm a little jealous, but I also just can't appreciate that people like you and musicians and writers you know are just talented and and yeah i wish i could do that <laughs> well you can sing yeah uh, no oh no <laughs> well i mean i guess compared to me you can sing <laughs> so. but i'm also one of those singers well quote unquote singers that i can't sing a cappella. When I sing a cappella, I sound tone deaf. But I can sing along to songs and sound okay. But that doesn't, to me, personally, that doesn't mean I can sing. I guess it's more of a mimic. Like, I try and mimic. You know what I mean? Like, I've never had the courage or the, you know, because I've always had the stage fright of yeah. trying to just sing and find my own personal sound yeah, but I mean, I... The singing is a performance art too right. so it's that's that's tough because the performance is part of if you i don't know how you would sing without doing it in front of people right i mean i guess always sing for yourself like i could always just draw for myself too but i don't do that so <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you did this picture with a turkey. This was for you, right? Well, this was for a video, so not really. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I don't know. Okay, well, then let me ask, like, do you want to draw more for yourself? Is that something that you want to try and work on, or do you prefer drawing for other people? No, okay, sure, they're commissions, and people are paying you most of the time well but like it it's not even doing it for money that i like anyway honestly it really isn't um uh, i i would like to uh, let me see i think i would like to be able to i'd like to enjoy drawing for myself as much as i enjoy drawing for other people okay i don't enjoy it 
but I would drawing, like to drawing for yourself. You don't yes, enjoy. Okay, correct. I'd like to, but I don't. Um, because I guess it's the, I guess it's the act of like sharing it with somebody, and the reaction you get if you surprise somebody with a picture and they're like, "Oh my god!" Like that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Um, and I mean, over the past few years, I've actually gotten pretty good at like extracting information from people about what they want and being able to translate things into pictures even if it's not even if they didn't know that that's what they wanted for in some cases the things i've drawn have been exactly what they wanted and they they recognize that they didn't know how to say it Okay. And then once I drew it, and they're like, how did you know? Like, that's exactly what I was trying to explain, but I couldn't get the words to make sense. Well, you're kind of good at reading people, whether you realize it or not. But what's weird is, like, I'm not having face-to-face -face conversations with people. Most of these conversations, well, almost all the conversations I'm having are in text. Not even, like, voice chat. Well, that to me, that goes back to how your brain processes things. Like, Because even if it's just chatting with somebody, how somebody phrases something, and maybe they'll say, well, I, I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but like you just pick up on those little minute details that they wrote in the previous sentence that makes you go, oh, well, they might mean this. Mm -hmm. And then somehow you produce it. I Well, yeah, I guess I do have that. I I guess I... You're probably right. I do read people, even whenever I just kind of compile a little filing cabinet in my brain of everything they've said and then add that to what they're actually asking for. Maybe I do that. I don't consciously read people, because that would be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sound like I'm some kind of stalker or something, but I don't know, but I I did get good, like at extracting information out of people and giving them what they want. And I, there's no way that I would get that doing a picture for myself. You know what I mean? Because if I would do it and then look at it and say, yeah, that's exactly what I was telling myself to draw. <laughs> yeah. And then I would show it to somebody and say, hey, I drew this for myself. And they'd be like, that's cool. But it doesn't mean anything to anybody else because that's what I wanted. Right. So the only one that appreciates it the most is me. And that's not really enough. So I guess I just feel like I need external validation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can get that. Well, this has been a really long recording. I think this well, video is looped many times. A few. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we weren't really sure exactly where we were going to go with this conversation. Yeah. It's a good conversation, though. Yeah. And I, I think there's questions I even wrote down that we may not have even gotten to. So this is like our podcast. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we should just put this out. <laughs> this is episode zero. Of our podcast, Untitled. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about doing a podcast, but I guess if this is what it is. I, but, I mean, we're also talking about a specific video, too, that we would probably have to link to, or... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, but, I mean, some of the stuff that we're talking about, you said you can edit out and, and just clip in over top of... The video. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And I'm sure there's questions that I wrote down that we could get to at another time if yeah. you do another art video. We can do that. Yeah, I'll do another one. I'll have to come up with an idea and we'll do another. another... You could work on the D&D characters. Because yeah. I'm obsessed with D&D. <laughs> I'll see what I could do. You could draw me swimming in all my dice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, dice are hard to draw. <laughs> yeah. Well, you saw what happened to your birthday cake this year. <laughs> oh boy, that's a story for another day. <laughs> but I um, mean, if you want to end it here, or do you want to keep talking? No, we end it here. Okay. Well, thanks for sticking around. 
Thank and, you. And thanks for watching me draw. I'll try to do more. Yay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.